Hi, welcome back to Messy T with Tay. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content. Guys, if you have been keeping up with social media, we all know this has been a crazy week for FOE. Ever since it came out that Flo was putting cans on Karina. Karina took to social media and stated that she was no longer going to fool with anyone that was still friends with Flo. And she started unfollowing people that she started that was still hanging out with Flo. People such as Abby Nicole, also Kiana J. She unfollowed a ton of people just because she was upset about the situation that took place between her and Flo. Now, Abby Nicole has finally spoke out on how she feel about the situation. Here's what Abby had to say. Just stepping out, you know, a couple times for my birthday. Baby, there was so much mess that went around me and my name, and we'll get to that real soon. Cause you know, the Haitian queen, the Libra queen is gonna address what needs to be addressed. <laughs> okay. So with that being said, how do you feel about the whole Karina thing? Um, will you give Flo Grace? I think you should, he a troubled young man. And let's see if anybody else asked about this, if I can find it quick enough. Are you still friends with Karina? Um, Excuse me. Okay, let's get to that. So, for our number one, okay, am I still friends with Karina? As of right now, no. Why? Um, because of the situation that transpired between her and Flo. Now, let me make this clear and listen the fuck up, okay? I, myself, have been in a toxic situation and an abusive situation or domestic violence situation before, and no in no way shape or form do i condone that or support that in any way shape or form and let me explain to you what went down so my birthday um my 25th private dinner slash party um happened you know my friends convinced me to do something last minute do it quick um me and karina we're cool y'all know karina my dog it ain't no weird vibes no bad blood do i hang out with karina every single day no but when i see her is it love yes as and that's how it is with pretty much everybody like when that happened to Karina I literally was in shock I saw her on the phone she told me she wasn't gonna be able to make it to my party because I did have a um, RSVP everybody had to send me a certain amount of money and Karina didn't send me hers I had invited Flo prior to them being into it I invited the whole FOE gang prior to this situation um, Jazz and them were in the Virgin Islands Flo was like I'm gonna be in town still I'm gonna pop up now, granted, Flo or Karina never gave me their deposit money, so I didn't think any of them were coming, especially Karina after she confirmed, after she called me and showed me her face. Now, in the heart of walking into my birthday, this was the day before my birthday when all this was going on. So, big shout out to Funny Mike. He's a Libra as well. Funny Mike um, sent me a deposit for six people at my birthday dinner. Funny Mike showed up, and he showed up with Flo. And... Mind you, I was the, like the last one to arrive at my birthday dinner. All my guests were there prior to me. And I was not on the type of vibe where I wanted to argue with anyone. That's not what it was about. Like I've been dark, depressed, dealing with my own shit mentally in my crib. And when my birthday came around, I just wanted to enjoy it with the people that wanted to enjoy it with me. Now granted, that doesn't mean that, you know, certain people didn't check him and, you know, confront him or say something to him about the situation. But at that point, you know, everybody was there for one reason and I was to celebrate my birthday. Now, let me tell y'all something. Go on my channel or go on my page and ask me, do you see Flo on my page or me, buddy, buddy and best friends with Flo other than when I'm around FOE. Okay, and that's that on that. Um, I don't support what he did at all. He knows that as a woman, that is 100% wrong. And I tried to speak to Crystal to kind of let her know what happened so she can explain it to Karina. Karina didn't um, want to speak to me. She said, I'm fake. At the end of the day, I'm a grown ass woman. I'm 25 years old. I'm not going to get on the internet to 
argue or bash anybody that I once considered my friend. I will handle it woman to woman on the phone. We could talk about it, we could pull up, we could talk. But all that fighting, all that, look, I'm too cute for that, I'm too grown for that, I'm not doing it. Listen, this is why I stay to myself because I don't have the time for that. But yeah, that's the situation with that. So that's what Abby had to say about what took place between her and Karina. Do you think Karina was right for unfollowing Abby for hanging out with Flo during her birthday party? Or do you think Abby just wanted nothing to do with the situation and really did not know Flo was going to show up? So Karina just really unfollowed Abby for no reason and was taking out her problems on everyone else. Make sure you drop a comment down below letting me know what you guys think. But let's move on to the next topic. Today, Jazz X Crystal dropped a Q&A. During the Q&A, she was asked, why did she unfollow Amar's girlfriend, Maya? And here's what Crystal had to say. Why did you and Maya unfollow each other? Y'all not cool anymore? I unfollowed Maya because of the controversy that was going on on the internet. And I feel like as somebody that was my friend or somebody that's supposed to be cool with me, if that's going around, you're supposed to clear it up unless it's true. So it's true, so I unfollow her. The alleged controversy that Crystal was talking about was Maya bestie was supposedly hanging out with Jazz. And she felt like Maya should have came to the internet and cleared it up. Guys, do you think that Crystal was right for unfollowing Maya for not taking to social media, clearing up the rumor about Jazz messing around with her best friend? Or do you think Crystal was just overreacting and should have kept things cool between her and Maya? But personally, I could tell things wasn't good between her and Maya for a while because if you notice, Maya had quit hanging out at the house. Until Crystal and Jazz broke up. That's when she started coming back around and started hanging at the FOE house again. Did you guys notice that or was I the only one? Make sure you drop a comment down below telling me what you think. Thanks for tuning in to Messy Tea with Tay. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content. Thanks.